G'day everyone, my name is Fancy Felix, and I'm so glad you're here because in today's episode of Let's Remember, we're taking a look at a little game called The Incredible Machine. My god, it's so incredible, you won't believe what you're about to witness. Now this one was developed by various, apparently. There were various uh, instances, iterations of this game and many sequels over the years. I believe this is the original one though, the absolute original. This is the one I played when I was little at least. And uh, the concept of the game is you have to build and solve puzzles using these, um, using an arrangement of uh, you know, objects and devices, kind of, kind of Rube Goldberg-esque machines to solve little puzzles. So here my objective in this very first level uh, is to get the basketball into the hoop, which is uh, here. That's a hoop apparently on the on the right there. So I think, oh man, this is bringing so much, so many memories back. Okay, if I drop a bowling ball on a mouse, that causes it to run. Perfectly logical. So if I attach the running mouse wheel to this little uh, conveyor belt type deal that will propel a bowling ball over there. So to solve this it looks like all I do is chuck a uh, mouse, wait no what am I doing? Chuck a mouse there so a bowling ball hits the mouse there and makes it run. Sounds a little cruel but the mouse is obviously not getting squished don't worry. Attach you there with some belts and uh, yeah that should do it. Let's hit this. Uh, let's hit this start machine button. Come on. Uh oh no! Go go in the. I like how the ball doesn't actually roll. It just. <laughs> That's adorable. Puzzle one complete. Awesome. New password. Sierra Z Z blah blah blah. Yes, this game was. Uh, thanks for reminding me. This game was uh, pub pub. Blah, blah, Published by Sierra. Yeah, in 1992, this particular one. Sierra published uh, all of them for many years. Okay, what are we doing in this one? Put both bowling balls into the metal baskets. To solve this, you must blah, blah, blah. I'm sure I'll figure it out. Okay. So put a mouse there. Put a basketball there. To, uh, initiate the mouse runningness. Attach you there, you there, ah uh, yes, and I think I need to rotate, no, rotate, yeah, okay, this should do it. Hey, puzzle two completed. So you're getting the idea behind this one. It's pretty, well, it's, I was going to say basic, it's not basic stuff. It gets pretty complicated from what I remember. Okay, so in this one I have to pop all the balloons. What happens if I just start the machine? Okay, so you want to put a, uh, you want to use a tennis ball to drop on a, whatever the hell those things are called, the air blowing jiggers, and you want to blow the balloon into the sharp end of the scissors. On this one, huh, how do I do this? Let's see here. Okay, so this powers, uh, hmm, I feel like I'm missing something here. I got two of the balloons, but how do I get this last one? Can I manipulate any of the stuff? Okay, I can't manipulate anything that's already placed. Uh, oh, I think I got it. What if I rotate this, Drop a basketball on there, and the balloon should be popped by the spinning cog, or gear, whatever it is. Yeah! Okay, we're going along nicely here. And, uh, oh, I should mention, there is uh, apparently zero sound in this game, so do not adjust your speakers, I apologize. I don't know if there genuinely is no sound, or I'm having some kind of a issue with running this game, but... I don't I don't think it's on my end. It's a bit of a shame. This could do with some totally wacky sound effects. I would love it. Oh, come on you. Get 
in the hole. Okay. We've got to get... I think the objective in this one is to... I should really read the objectives first. The objective in this one looks like is to get the bowling ball out of that hole, maybe? What are these balls? I don't know. They're heavy, I think. Oh, God, look at that slowdown. The computer can't handle the awesome graphics. Whoa, frame rate slowing down. Looks like it's going to work, though. Oh, just as I said that. Okay. Let's make a little adjustment here with our seesaw. And, um, I don't know, let's try here. Will this work? I don't know, why not? Let's try it. I can't afford to get stumped on, like, the fourth puzzle of the game. That would just be humiliating. I know I wasn't, um, very good at this as a kid. I lost my patience with it so much as a young boy. But yeah, we got through it. What are we looking at next? I don't know how many of these I'm going to do. I, I think it goes on for a long while. Well, this looks fun. Use the boxing gloves to punch the baseball up to the metal pipes. Oh, okay. I gotta punch the baseball up to the pipes. Okay, let's put a boxing glove here. Uh, looks like a seesaw would go here. Um, what exactly would that do? Oh, okay, we'll put a boxing glove here. Because the boxing gloves, I think they like kind of extend out when something hits them. Yeah, they kind of fire out like a weapon, one of those wacky boxing glove things. I don't know what I'm saying. You're about to see what I'm saying. This should do it. I can't see any other way. So yeah, they're like extendo, extendo boxing gloves. That's exciting. I always like these little ball running maze type puzzles. They're my favorites. And you'll see in the future that they're going to add some weird stuff to the equations in some of these puzzles. You're going to have to place cats and uh, fish bowls and stuff. Make Mort the Mouse run in his cage by hitting the cage with the basketball. I remember this one. This one's a lot of trial and error, but it's fun. Okay, we got to get that basketball up here. I think if I remember right, it gradually gains momentum. I'll be thrilled with myself if I got this right. Because I haven't played this since I was four years old. Ah, uh, no. Not good enough. Okay. Let's try you here. And try... I don't know. Let's do it. Come on. Damn it. Ah, uh, okay. I think this one needs to go there. Because if it lands right in the middle of the trampoline, it gains a little extra momentum, I think. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, no, no, no. Okay. We're close. We're getting close. What if we put it there? Come on. Bounce up there and there. Yes. Come on. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, oh no. Okay. Fine. If you want to do it this way. Uh, what if I move them up? I am no physics major, as you can tell. Uh... I'm not sure how accurate the physics are in this, but I'm sure I, I could be doing something a little bit more effectively. Maybe I should have lowered the um, trampolines instead of instead of raising them. No, don't go back to the start, you stupid basketball. Oh, damn it. I thought that was going to work for a second. <laughs> no such luck, I'm afraid. Um, let's try Let's try putting them lower. I don't know, I don't know. Man, this is uh, this must be getting frustrated for you people at home, I'm sorry. Oh, that looked like a good one. Come on, I gotta do this puzzle. We can do this. <laughs> I could probably just do a montage of this in my video. With like a million... Oh, never mind! A million attempts of me getting the freaking mouse to get hit with a basketball. But we got it, we got it. I'm having fun with this. It's fun. It's a good time. Make the jack in the box. Break the fishbowl of Bob the Fish. I should probably have a look at these. What do all these things mean? We've got 
Oh, we've got free form machine. That's like a free mode where you can just place stuff anywhere. Restart, quit, select puzzle. Uh, we've got a gravity meter. You're only allowed to change the gravitational force in free form mode. Yep, fair enough. And we've got air pressure. Interesting, interesting. None of those are coming into play in this level, though. So make the jack in the box break the fishbowl. That's not very nice, is it? That's just mean. What did Bob the fish do? Oh, okay. So the right. Well, this is pretty straightforward, I guess. I think, unless I'm missing something. That's going to go there. That's going to go there. I should mention that they actually remade this game, I think, in 2014 or 13. Yeah, they brought a total remake out. You can check that out on Steam if this is your kind of thing. Uh, I would assume it's better than this version. You'd like to think that after, you know, 20 odd years, they would have nailed the formula and made some improvements where necessary. But I, I can't tell you for sure because I haven't tried it out. I really should. Maybe I'll do a video on it, on it one day. And there we go. We killed Bob the Fish. Awesome. I feel bad. All you need to do is pop the balloon. Note that you must flip the windmill to select which direction it turns. All you need to do is pop the balloon. That sounds a little suspicious. Like, all I need to do is pop the balloon? Like, is it really that simple? Are you pulling my leg here, game? What do I do now? Can I attach a cable to this? No, that wouldn't make any sense, but I thought I'd check anyway. Okay, so I need to generate energy somehow hmm ah okay yeah I'm gonna put of course I'll put a windmill here that should be enough to propel this little baseball over there let's check if it works Whoop. didn't you read the first bit Felix geez it said flip the windmill I'm sorry okay I can't be paying attention to things all the time. Sometimes I'm just gonna have some fun with my incredible machines. Hey, that's the name of this game. The Incredible Machine. What the hell are you talking about? I don't know. Sorry, ladies and gentlemen. We had a brief, brief psychotic episode. Maybe, I don't know. Anyway, we're about to beat this puzzle by the looks of things. Come on. Oh, tennis ball, why you do this? You let the team down. Damn tennis balls, can't be trusted. Wrong, I hate you so much. Come on. Oh, uh, yeah. Well, hey, we've gotten through a good amount of puzzles in this one. Uh, I think we're going to call it a day here, but that was the incredible machine. I would very much recommend this. It's fun. I'm having fun. I'm going to go and play the crap out of this after I finish recording. Your goal is to lower all, lower all three buckets to do this. You must cut both ropes. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Well, I hope I can beat this one. And hey, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Uh, drop me a like or say something to me. I like to reply to your comments all the time. And um, subscribe if you want to see more like this later. I will see you next time, everyone.